All right, I do uh, quite a few RAM upgrades on OG Xboxes. And when you do that, you, you have a choice to either buy new chips from eBay or Alley, or you can get used chips from an old board that's dead. This is a V12 with trace rod. I don't like to fix trace rod boards, so I just take the RAM off them. Problem with the eBay and Alley chips is, I feel a lot of them are probably gonna be counterfeits. And it's just as easy to take them off of boards that you know, you know, are working. You know that they're not counterfeit. This board actually fired up and worked. It just has trace rot. Um, so what I like to do is I put a little bit of alcohol on the chip and I take a soft scratch brush and I just clean the legs. This is just to get rid of any corrosion or dirt or road shit or whatever the fuck is on these nasty old boards. Let's go around a couple times. Then, instead of heating the chip directly, I flip the board over. I'm going to heat it from this side. Just go in a circular motion. Get the board good and hot. Then after you heat it for a little while, just tap the board and the chips will fall right off. Try to stay away from the any electrolytic capacitors, they can uh, actually pop if you get too close to them. There's the chip, falls right off. When you do it like this, there's actually still a little bit of solder on the legs. If there's a lot, you can clean it off. Um, but uh, usually there's just a little bit, which actually helps when you're soldering them onto boards like this that don't have much solder on the uh, pads. Some of the 1.0s and 1.1s have big blobs of solder on there. I usually actually clean that off with braid before putting the chips on. But anyway, like I said, when you do it this way, you don't have to worry about dead or counterfeit chips. Um, so that's it.